Okay, keeping our fingers crossed for our boy Mechamaru to win this fight, but I don't know. Hey guys, what's good? How are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so in our last reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen, we started the new arc, the Shibuya Incident arc. First episode was pretty good. The entire first half was pretty goofy. Like we had the whole earthworm thing. And then we had the girl trying to confess to Itadori. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I read somewhere that Itadori's voice actor said that episode one was the only time he got to record like goofy lines. So if that's saying anything about the rest of this arc, I'm scared. Now the second half of the episode is where it got pretty serious. We learned that there was a mole in Kyoto working with Ghetto and that squad. We learned it was Mekumaro, but he's not really a bad guy. He was kind of being a double agent. The episode ended off right on a cliffhanger in the middle of the fight, right when he was about to unleash this huge attack on mahito so i'm curious to see how this is going to end but i mean he's fighting mahito and ghetto so i don't think he's gonna pull through but if he does let's go all right guys so before we get to today's reaction if you want to show me some support be sure to hit that like button if you have not done so yet smash that subscribe button hit the bell for notifications and the reminder i will be streaming these reactions over on twitch so if you want to get a head start on that go over there hit the follow button the link should be down in the description below all right guys so with all of that out of the way let's get it Bro, look at this. We're literally just starting right in it. <laughs> Animation's already S tier. Dude, it's so epic. One year charge. One year charge of cursed energy just getting shot at him. Ultra Cannon! I love his voice actor, man. Dude, the animation. This is where episode one left off. If Mahito tanked that, that's unbelievable. And he did. He's chilling. <laughs> Yo, look at his face. Mahito's enjoying this. That's scary. Jesus. It must be pretty easy to dodge, though, right? It's a giant mech. It doesn't look like it's moving that fast. Charge two years. Miracle cannon. Oh shit. I thought that last one was going to be as strong as attack. Oh, look at this shit. He's got the, the finger. Oh, he hit him. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, yo, foot to the face. Yo, that looked so sick. Bro, he is getting sent. Yo, he just got kicked like four miles down into the forest. Oh, my God. His soul was destroyed, too. Oh. It regenerated. Oh, no. Tweaking the shape of his soul. He's, oh, Ghetto's saying he's not doing badly. This could be the moment I get? What is Ghetto up to, guys? Pijun Viola. <laughs> All these attacks look so cool. Look at these RGB colors. Yo, oh, I love these chase sequences. What, is he turning into a mouse? Oh my God. What is going on in this fight? What is this? <laughs> the animation's just been going so hard for the last like five straight minutes. What is this? The hand symbols in his mouth? Oh, he's domain expansion. Self embodiment of perfection. Oh shit, guys, this is not good. I feel like this is the end. Yo, this looks like the opening. Look at this shit. I can't remember if we saw his domain expansion in season one. Oh no. No, guys, is that really how this ends? This sucks. I'm going to pause it real quick, though. And also, I think we did see his domain expansion in season one. Isn't that when Itadori, like, broke into the 
broke into it and then the second he stood into it um like sakuna came out and like fucked him up or am i thinking about someone else i might be thinking about a different curse maybe Sadatsuna Aishia. Protect themselves from other domains. Yo, he's getting back up. It's not the end. Oh, shit. Stabbed right through the gut. Oh, my God. I was not expecting this. New shadow style. Simple domain. Oh my god, this is so hype. Look at this shit. Oh! Where are you coming from? Oh, he's he's thinking of memories, I think. Whoa! What is going on here? <laughs> what is this? Yo, the domain went away. Let's freaking go, Mechamaru! The only issue is Ghetto is still here. Like. Oh, he's going for Ghetto now. This is Ghetto's full strength right now. <laughs> One simple domain in nine years. I don't know. I feel like he's too beat up to win this fight. I'll be able to see everyone. This is so sad. Like, if he dies here and it just shattered. Oh my god. Bro, look at Mahito's face. No way, man. Oh, come out, Mechamaru. Yo, the soundtrack right now. Oh, look at this. Mahito is too smiley. He's not going to lose this fight, I feel like. Yo, this animation. This whole episode's been on cocaine, animation-wise. And the colors, bro! Look at this! <laughs> JJK has never looked this good. Oh god. I I I'm I'm rooting for Mekumaro, but it's not looking good. Oh, he's coming in! Yo, the lines! They really cut away. Damn, and she's still sitting with his mech. This is sad. Like he finally looks normal. He's not gonna be able to see everyone. And she's mentioning dying. <sighs> right as she's saying, I love the relationship we all have now. Guys, this is sad. Why you want to be closer to him now? He's dying. Oh no, and then it cuts to his mech all destroyed. <laughs> I'm about to cry, guys. And they're just walking away. So Makumar is dead. God damn it. The main event. Finish adjusting the entrusted veil. Oh shit. What are they planning, man? Wait, is that a nail? What was that nail for? Just after 7 p.m. 400 meter radius veil was lowered on Shibuya around Tokyo. Oh God, guys. This is, I feel like this is going to get dark real fast. I mean, it's already dark. We already lost someone on it. It's episode two. <laughs> Yo, this like rave music. Oh God. Are all these people about to die or something? What is that? Oh shit, so this is the veil. <laughs> this dude just ran into the veil. Oh god. Oh my god, what is happening in the background? People are getting- it's a tornado! <laughs> oh my god. This is getting so dark so fast, guys. Not a me. Yo, M Megami's with him. Yo, tell me they're about to go in. Team Nanami. Let's go. What about Gojo? Yeah, where is Gojo? Bring Satoru Gojo. 
Oh, <laughs> Team Zenin. Yo, who is the blonde haired girl that's talking to them? I don't recognize her. Wait, hold on. I don't know this guy's name either. What is his name? Uh, we got Nobra, we got Maki, and then Naobito Zenin. Special Grade 1 Jujutsu Sorcerer. Na Naobito Zenin. I had no idea who this guy is. Was he in Season 1? If so, I, I completely forget about him. And uh, we're seeing everybody. So they're letting people come into the Veil. They want Gojo to go in there, I feel like. Team Kasukabi. Got Atsuya uh, Kusakabi. Grade 1 Jiu-Jitsu Sorcerer. And we got Panda. The K Kusakabi guy. He, was he in Season 1 also? Because I don't really remember seeing him. Lots of special grade cursed spirits underground. That's not good. <laughs> they don't even know who Gojo is. Oh, God. What what does Ghetto and them want to do with Gojo? Yeah, I would be this guy. I would be like, yeah, we need to get out of here. Did you not see those people get sucked up? Oh, God, what is this? Oh, okay, I think it's Megumi. Oh, it's Gojo. He's here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. 2031 Satoru Gojo arrives. I mean, arrives. Shit, guys. I don't know what's about to happen. I'm I'm actually worried for Gojo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. All right, so this was episode two of the new arc, episode 31 in Jujutsu Kaisen. This was a fire episode. It's only episode two, but best episode of this of this arc so far. So we picked right back up with that Mekamaru fight. I I I was pretty sure he wasn't gonna win that fight, and he didn't. He did. It, the fight was sick though. It went on for much longer than I thought it would. The animation was so good. Like I said during the reaction, like if they had the art style they had with season one, they wouldn't have been able to do the fight the way, the way they did it right there. There's so many just like chase shots. And like, the, even though like the animation isn't insanely detailed, like it was in some scenes in season one, I prefer the lower detail, more fluidity, higher movement, fast paced stuff compared to the way it looked in season one. So Mekumaru put up a good fight, but he, he lost. <laughs> I think they even killed him off screen. We didn't really get to see him actually die. Um, kind of sucks, but I mean, the fight was epic. So now we know this Shibuya plot's going down. I, I was not expecting it to just cut straight to the Shibuya thing on Halloween, but it did. And now they got this veil lower down. We don't really know what their plan is because Mekumaru knew and he needed to tell Gojo, but he died. So. No one and none of the Jujutsu Sorcerers know what's going on because Mekimaru couldn't relay the information and we don't know what's going on either really. We just know they're planning something and that it has to do with Gojo. Maybe they're going to try and they obviously probably can't kill him, but maybe they'll try and seal him away or something like that. Got to see a lot of our returning characters in today's episode as well. And there were a few new faces that I don't really remember seeing like the old Zenin guy. I don't really remember him from um, season one. So if you guys can let me know in the comments, is he a new character? Is he not? So the guy that is with Panda, I don't really recognize him, but it's hype that we got so many of these Jujutsu Sorcerers coming in here and they're all like the best ones. Uh, I'm wondering where is the blonde haired girl from the hidden inventory arc that talked to Ghetto, the other special grade? I can't remember what her name was, but where is she? Because I know she trained Toto, so she's still got to be alive, right? Why isn't she like in the plot at all in the current timeline? I, I'm confused about that. Does she just not want to be involved with any of this? She's just off doing her own thing. So shit's definitely going down. Next episode, I feel like we're going to get right into it. I mean, they're luring Gojo in here for something. I'm ready to get into some fights and seeing how that Mekumaru fight was. I just can't wait to see what some of these fights down the road are going to be. All right, guys. So remember, if you enjoyed today's reaction, hit that like button. If you have not done so yet, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notification. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember, stay blessed, not stressed out there. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.